Hello everyone, Brian here again, finally doing a quick review on the Gerber Epic. I'd like to start off by saying that I went into this with a somewhat biased view, knowing ahead of time what this blade is really meant for, and it's just that there are enough requests to run a review on this, so I figure why not, so here it is. Okay, so as you can see, this is probably one of Gerber's strangest design knives, and I'll explain why in a moment. To begin with, the blade itself is uh, 3.45 inches in length, and from tip to butt, it runs a full 7.3 inches, and it weighs in at 5.12 ounces. That said, the quality, the steel quality is still the uh, 7CR17 mob steel, and that's pretty much the same steel that is used in many of Gerber's more affordable blades. The sheath... The sheath is made of plastic, so nothing special there, uh, but the handle does uh, is made of a textured uh, glass-filled nylon, which I hope Gerber is telling the truth on it because it honestly really just looks like it's plain plastic and nothing special again. Um, it does come with a reversible pocket clip, which is pretty nice. So it's designed for a left hand or right hand carry. All you gotta do is just take off the Gerber um, logo here using two Phillips head screwdrivers, and the same thing for the back as well. Let me see if I could focus in on that. So you remove those, you remove this, slap it on, put this on the back side, and there you go. Uh, the blade itself does lock into the clip, so you can carry it uh, tip up or tip down. Um, so, Gerber likes to call this blade, let me get it in the right position, Gerber likes to call this blade dynamic. For once, I have to say I fully disagree with this, because honestly, this is one of the most uncomfortable blades that Gerber has ever made, hence why I call it one of their strangest designs. For one thing, the handle is incredibly awkward. It doesn't feel right in my hand, and I have to say, it, you know, this feels like one of those blades that Gerber just kind of threw together uh, to stay within the market. Um... And when you hold it, you immediately get this feeling this blade is just cheaply made. So it's not, it, this really isn't one of Gerber's best blades they've ever made. It, it doesn't even come close to one of their better blades either. Uh, Gerber also goes on to say that this blade is perfect for the camper. They say uh, in their actual advertisement, if I could see here, yeah, they say cook, eat, drink, and be merry. While this is something you would use while camping and prepare, sorry, prepare food with and such, I beg to differ about the rest of it. Gerber and about 12 other knife companies make well other made camping knives, so I'm a bit puzzled on why they made this. This blade actually should have been part of their outdoor kitchen kit, and to be honest, it doesn't hold an edge too well. Unless, well, it doesn't hold an edge too well if you're carving up wood, so if you're planting a baton with it or carve wood with it, bring a field sharpener. Um, on the other hand, it does hold a great edge when you cut up both, uh, both meat and vegetables alike. There is one great feature though, it's the bottle opener, and there it is, okay, it's the uh, bottle opener, I could definitely tell you that it works great, um, because this blade is just so frustrating to use, you definitely want to have a beer at the end of the day when you attempt to use this. Uh, all in all, I would say that the Gerber Epic is definitely not designed for the extremist, it's definitely not designed for the well-experienced outdoor enthusiast. But I would say this is a good first blade for those who are only doing camping or don't have a massive uh, knife buying budget. Now, and to answer the question, how much, Amazon is offering this blade at a whopping $30. Anyway, so that's it. That's the uh, quick review on the Gerber Epic. Uh, you probably could tell by this review that I'm not at all uh, really happy with the blade. And uh, I'll be more happy about the next review because the next review will be on the Gerber Impromptu Tactical Pen. So until then, this is Brian signing off for now, and I'll talk to you all later. So please take care. Bye-bye.